Local anesthesia is utilized in a wide variety of medical procedures to achieve local, short-term analgesia with minimal risk for side effects or complications. Examples of indications include arthrocentesis, laceration repair, and thoracentesis. Only a few pieces of basic equipment are required for the administration of local anesthesia. These include a skin cleansing agent, such as chlorhexidine, a small syringe, and one or two bevel-tipped needles. 25 to 30 gauge needles are typically used to place a wheel of anesthetic in the skin, whereas larger 20 or 22 gauge needles are used to anesthetize the deeper tissues. The smallest needle possible should be used for infiltration to minimize patient discomfort and to reduce tissue trauma. Longer needles have the advantage of allowing a greater area of infiltration with a single injection site. 1% lidocaine is the most commonly used local anesthetic agent and is suitable for most indications. The duration of action is approximately 30 minutes and the maximum dose is 4.5 milligrams per kilogram. Recall that a 1% solution contains 1 gram of agent per 100 milliliters of diluent and thus each milliliter contains 10 milligrams. For a 70 kilogram patient, the maximum dose of 1% lidocaine is 315 milligrams or 31.5 milliliters. 0.5% lidocaine can be used to decrease the risk of systemic toxicity when large volumes of anesthetic are required. Conversely, 2% lidocaine can be used when only minimal volumes may be injected, such as in dental procedures. Alternatively, 1% lidocaine with epinephrine may be used in select clinical scenarios. The vasoconstricting action of epinephrine provides a longer duration of action, reduced systemic absorption, and improved hemostasis. The duration of action is between 1 to 4 hours, and the maximum dose is 7 mg per kilogram, or 49 milliliters of 1% solution for a 70 kilogram patient. Theoretically, epinephrine containing local anesthetics increase the risk of tissue ischemia in areas of end circulation such as the digits, the nose, and the ear, although this ischemia is likely to be short-lived and of little clinical consequence in healthy patients, the use of epinephrine in such areas probably is best avoided. Bupivacaine, available in 0.25 and 0.5% concentrations, may be used in longer procedures or for anticipated prolonged post-procedure pain. Its duration of action is 4 to 6 hours and the maximum dose is 3 mg per kilogram or 84 milliliters of a 0.25% solution for a 70 kilogram patient. Like lidocaine, pupivacaine is also available with epinephrine. Sodium bicarbonate may be added to local anesthetics to decrease the pain of infiltration and to increase the speed of onset and penetration into neural tissue. 8.4% sodium bicarbonate can be mixed with 1% lidocaine in a 1 to 10 ratio. Bupivacaine may also be buffered, but at a 1 to 100 ratio to decrease the risk of precipitation. Local anesthetics are commonly supplied in single-dose glass ampules or in larger multi-dose vials. To open the glass ampule, first wrap a piece of gauze around the top and then briskly snap it open at the neck. Failure to use the gauze may result in a laceration from the sharp edges of the vial. Note that the vial may be inverted without spillage of anesthetic as the agent is withdrawn into the syringe. When using a multi-dose vial, first cleanse the stopper with antiseptic and then invert the bottle. Inject air into the vial to facilitate removal of the agent and then withdraw the desired amount of medication into the syringe. In this section, we will demonstrate basic anesthetic techniques, including local infiltration, anesthesia for laceration repair, 
and field blocks. Local infiltration is used prior to procedures such as lumbar puncture, which is depicted here. Begin by cleansing the skin with chlorhexidine or povidone iodine. Insert a small 25 to 30 gauge needle just under the epidermis and inject 0.5 to 1 milliliter of anesthetic. Begin to anesthetize the deeper tissues by directing the same needle in a perpendicular fashion through the wheel and injecting another milliliter or so. If even deeper tissues need to be anesthetized, you can switch to a longer 22 gauge needle and proceed in the same fashion. Aspirate the syringe intermittently during the injection to exclude inadvertent vascular placement. If blood is returned to the syringe, the tip should be repositioned before proceeding. To provide local anesthesia for a laceration, first cleanse the surrounding skin with chlorhexidine or povidone iodine. Insert a small 25 to 30 gauge needle through the wound edge into the subdermal tissues and advance it all the way to the hub. Pull back on the plunger to exclude intravascular placement and then slowly inject the anesthetic while withdrawing the needle. Reinsert the needle through regions already anesthetized and repeat as needed to anesthetize the entire wound. A field block is a technique in which the tissues surrounding the operative area are anesthetized rather than the operative area itself. This technique is commonly used for incision and drainage of cutaneous abscesses. First, prepare the skin with a skin cleansing agent. Using a small needle, create a skin wheel just outside the affected area. Advance a long needle through the wheel and begin to anesthetize the perimeter of the region. Intermittently, pull back on the plunger to exclude intravascular placement. Continue to anesthetize the entire perimeter, taking care to insert the needle in regions already anesthetized.